Hi, welcome to yet another video on Python. This time we're going to talk about logical operators. So we primarily have three kind of logical operators, the AND operator, the OR operator, and the NOT operator. So what are these? Uh, so if we have two conditions, like in this example, A greater than 5 and A greater than 3, and if we want to check whether both the condition are true, either of the condition is true, or we want to do a NOT gate like this, then we use this operator. So let's test them one by one. So an AND operator uh, returns true if both statements are true. So in this case, A greater than 5 and A greater than 3. So if A is 10, so both the conditions are true. So this entire expression will give you uh, a value true. Uh, or in the other hand, uh, give returns true if either of the condition is true. So in this case, if let's say A is, uh, let's say 5, so A greater than 5 is false because A is equal to 5, but uh, and A greater than 10, 5 greater than 10 is also false. Both are false, so the output would be false. But if, uh, let's say, if we say um, A is 6, so 6 is greater than 5, so which is true, right? Or 6 is greater than 10 is false. So 1 is true, so this means uh, uh, this will return true. And not, on the other hand, uh, takes whatever is the output uh, inside this and gives you the uh, opposite of it. So if we have true, it will give false, and uh, if it is false, it will give true and vice versa. And one last uh, combination in the AND, if either of the condition is false, uh, like for example, if I have in this case A as 4, so 4 is greater than 5 is false, and 4 is greater than 3 is true. So either is uh, one of the condition is false, so hence the entire uh, statement becomes false even if one condition was true. Let's uh, <coughs> let's uh, take these examples through the Python code. In this case, we have three variables a, b, c, right? Now let's talk about the AND uh, operator first. So if I say a less than b, uh, so let's first run these actually. So a is 3, b is 5, c is 3. And if I go here um, in line number 7, so a less than b, which means 3 less than 5, and which is uh, false, and a equal to c, which is true. So because one of the condition is false, sorry, a is less than uh, b, which is 3 less than 5. So both the conditions are true. So we get a true here, right? Uh, a less than I'm repeating this again a less than b and a equal to c so which means a is 3 b is 5 so 3 less than 5 is true and a equal to c a is 3 and c is 3 so both the conditions are true hence the output is true a uh, second example line number 8 a less than b uh, which is 3 less than 5 is true and a greater than c which is false because a is equal to c in this case so if i run this line i get a false Let's talk about the OR uh, operator now. A less than B, so 3 is less than 5, which is one condition is true, or B less than C, B 5 is less than 3 is false. So since one of the condition is true, so it's coming out to be true. In this case, A greater than B, so 3 is greater than 5 is false, B greater than C, 5 is greater than 3. This one is, uh, in this case, both are true. So we're getting true, right? And finally, not in not whatever we say, uh, let's say if true, then it gives false, and if false, it gives true. So if I run this, uh, this gives me false because not of true is false. And to show this with an example, a less than b in this a is 3, b is 5, 3 is less than 5 is actually a true statement, and a not of a less than 5 will obviously be opposite, which is false. So very straightforward but very powerful uh, operator uh, which will help you strengthen your uh, python coding skills uh, if you like our video do subscribe share and comment or like our video and we'll come up with more videos on python thanks for watching our video thank you